jug with lemon water. We just put it in there from the tap lukewarm water and then we put it in here, fill it up to the max. And then we take Jimmy, Jimmy Crowley's um, sent me these harmonicas to get it get cleaned and he says call air of hookal to unknap a stig tune and restore button so we'll clean that harmonica and he also has one here from uh, Rick, see Rick Eppin has worked on this one before loose and tuning so we'll give this one a clean we can see so we'll just set this have a look and notice how bad it is before even touching it and then we'll put it in here and see how we get on now, okay have an unscrewed um, everything we place them into the sonic um, ultrasonic cleaner and it goes in there and in there and in there all is plugged in there and that lukewarm water set it going that lukewarm water uh, and the heat should get it going oh, turn, on the, turn it on first and it's ready to go and we'll give it to clean them with the valve so having that finished now we'll just Take them all up and put them on a towel. Let them drain there. Place them here in a towel and we'll just dry them off. So just see how it comes up now. Just clean them all off. Scrub them, scrub them, scrub them clean. Shine them up, even polish them up. Like give them a nice little, especially along the lip. Give them in there. And then for the button, then we'll just kind of gently like call it that down stroke, just one, not up and down, just and along the sides as well, like that. Not too hard, just nice and gentle. That's the and then same thing with the um the uh plate, the the bottom of the mouthpiece where it sits on the bed. So just I like to just nice and gently just give it a in between those little just rub it clean yeah and um see now yeah just yeah nice and make sure it's completely and cleaned give it attention so you can see it's nice and clean now just for for the for this to sit on it for the button the slide button which is nice and clean now we can, we could flat sand the, that, we can do all that kind of extra work, but if we just want to do something really quickly and get something going back on it, just make sure this mouthpiece can be really dirty, but you can flat sand the mouthpiece here, which we'll do. And we'll just give it a nice little bit of a flat sanding. And then just, you know, and then once we have that nice and clean, and then the the other cover along the mouthpiece there, and then the um, the U the U shaped bend um, piece of the mouthpiece, and we we'll give that a nice scratch in there to make sure it's nice and clean. Now we'll get it nice and clean because scrub it clean like that you see this is how we're cleaning it now you see that's nice and clean now before it was filthy and now it's nice and clean so that's how we clean the mouthpiece in the ultrasonic cleaner put the um, mouthpiece back on the top of this and test and um, test all the notes to see make sure it's all clean in the meantime We'll take the, the reed plates off and put them through the sonic cleaner as well. We can see the nice work Rick Epping has done along these notes here. Lovely, lovely work by lovely work by Rick Epping. Nice and tidy, nice and tidy soldering going on there. Uniformed all the way up to the top. Let's let's try and. Give this what it, the attention it deserves. So, and we'll examine all the the valves and maybe just that one. The rest of the team can just that one and that one and that one. So we'll actually take this off and 
because I think this comb here is we could the button uh, for the screw for the screw to, to hold down for the screw to hold down the mouthpiece the threads are gone bare so I mean as a quick fix you could insert a bit of matchstick in there you know a bit of matchstick in there that can cut off a bit of matchstick and a slither and put it down there and that'll get enough purchase on it just to hold it down because we don't have to worry about the side button here because and this and this one it has no um, spring or slide because it's in D and G so you know you don't have to spring for in and out just either either you're in D or you're in G so let's get to work so here we have brick Epping's work and you can see if you look closely let me see now yeah yeah you can see the chamfer the chamfering going on with the sides of 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 the um of the reeds there and the lovely tidy tidy solder work and the tuning mark down the center um which is very important because by taking it down the center then you're not weakening the reed and less is more with reeds so forget about your polishing this is less is more this is all about less is more and so polished reeds from flat sanded reeds and polished from top that seems to me like too much work um that's that's hardly worth the effort in the end you know and i've never heard of polished accordion reeds maybe there's somebody out there can tell me if there is such a brand or a make um, that has such things that would go to the bother but less is more reeds you can see rick's excellent work here really top class you can see the chamfering going on there the light that's capturing the right hand side if i turn that reed plate around you can see the other side is also chamfered that shiny spot is the chamfering that rick rick has done and lovely just minimal tuning minimum 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 solder i mean this is so neat and tidy so this is top class work by master guru rick Epping. great player plays with the band unwanted um and this is his tidy work here make um in making a harmonica for jimmy crowley in the key of d and g so with the button so you don't have to change harmonicas just just press the button and the button is no spring so that's that's that now now we could restore the new comb um to retain those um lovely bit of work that rick done there so we'll try and fix the hole here um with a bit of um a bit of wood matchstick and glue and let it set and see if we can get a nice tight purchase so that was um, a look at rick rick epping's work on jimmy crowley's customized harmonica in the key of d and g the button press it in for the key d and let it out for the key g and we've seen rick's um rick's very fine reed work there as well and you can see that he doesn't use, never use the polishes polishing uh, the rotary tool to tune his instruments or, or anything like that he swears by using sharp clean tools and uh, he emphasizes the keep your tools sharp so it's all about keeping your uh, top quality files and 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 um and chisels and sharp and and chamfering um using uh, those instruments and scraper to tune down the center and touching it less is more so it's hardly worth the effort of flat sanding a reed and polishing the top of it from top to bottom um the benefits the, for the amount of work that you put in and the benefit you get back is nominal nominal so and so i would definitely be off the um, school of thought that less is more um when working with reeds maybe dip it in profile the reeds chamfer it and boss the slot that's it leave it at that less is more and uh, of course it depends what you're going for but uh, polished reeds are seem like a gimmick to me uh, not worth the money or the effort or the pain for to get to have them done um, and and i don't know any top musician or accordion players that would have polished reeds i'll investigate there is no benefits to outweigh the work so uh, we're trying to salvage this rick epping comb and um, because it has filler inside here and these two on the on the outside presumably because none on this side because it's g but some on this side because it's a d and it's higher register but we have this hole here the threads were were weren't working so we filled it in put a match in there with a bit of glue and we're letting it set now we'll put a little tiny drill 
hole in it. We'll line it up with the with the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece here, and we'll mark it. We'll put the mouthpiece here, and we'll mark it in here exactly where the hole should be. And we'll drill a tiny little pre-drill, tiny little hole to give us um, uh, so it won't um, break the comb. We can see in here that the wall of the comb has a little bit protruded a little bit, but we're hoping that with this new glue and wood, a bit of a matchstick in there glued, um, that it will take the screw and hold it and hold the, um, the mouthpiece clamped nice and tightly along the edge here. And we'll flat sand this part here as well. And another rig epping trick is to leave one reed plate on the comb to preserve the shape of the comb so it doesn't loop or bend or bow as it can tend to do if you leave off both uh, reed plates for any length of time or, or for a few hours or whatever. Um, so that's a good way to keep it um, straight and work with the harmonica quickly, do the job quickly. I'm just waiting for this glue to dry and then I will drill a hole and refit the mouthpiece and the other reed plate and test the tuning. So work with the with the harmonica quickly um, and the comb so the comb is not left um, exposed to the elements or anything like that.